Would you tell me why you brought Marco here today? <sighs> to answer his questions. To answer his questions, very good. So, what kind of journey is Marco in? For healing. For healing. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me when that was decided? That he would be here for healing? Before. Mm -hmm. Would it be appropriate for you to show him some of this agreement, or would you like to just talk about it? Not necessary. Not necessary. Okay. So, tell me a little bit about what Marco decided to do when he came here. What was his mission and purpose? Healing. Healing. Mm hmm. What kind of healing does he use? He knows. He knows. Well, just for the record, so that he has it on the recording, would you answer his question so that he can have it as a, kind of like a souvenir? He uses his hands. He uses his hands. Are they both his hands? His mind. Hand? His light? His mind. His mind. Mm hmm Is this something that he knows how to do, or is he like an instrument that... He knows. He knows. He's learning. He's learning. Does he use both of his hands or just one of them? Both of them. Both of them. So what happens when someone comes near him that needs healing? He feels it. He feels it himself? He feels what the other person uh, mm -hmm. needs. He feels what the other person needs? Yes. And does he know how to heal them or is that something automatic? Yeah, if he knows he feels the part that he needs to work on, he, mm -hmm. he knows where to put his hands so he can heal. Mm -hmm. Is this something that Marco has done in previous lives? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has it been on Earth or elsewhere? Other planets. Other planets. Is this Marco's first life on this Earth? Or has he been here before? He's been here before, different. <laughs> not, not, not as a human, as uh, energy. As energy, okay. Was that a long time ago? No. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the Maya's time. The Maya's time? So he was energy during the Maya's time? Um, no, he was a teacher. He was a teacher. Mm hmm during the Maya's time. Just by chance, did we know each other in that time? Yes. Mm. Interesting. So we have a connection in the Maya times? The Mayan times? Yes. Okay, good. So what was he teaching in that time? How, how to manipulate energy. Mm. And he was teaching the others? He was teaching the priest. The priest? Hmm. Can you tell me more about that? Yes, uh, the priests, uh, they didn't really understand how to use uh, energy. Mm -hmm. They uh, they confused. Uh, see, they used to sacrifice uh, people to as a uh, point for them to to allow the, the gods for them to you know benefit us somehow from it mm -hmm. but uh but marco when he was uh energy he he actually was uh through a through a person through a body mm -hmm. uh it was uh i don't know how to say it uh he would uh he would use uh he would manipulate uh the body of uh, this this person uh, and uh, as use it as a, as a conductor as uh, uh, see he, he knew that as as energy he wouldn't be able to to communicate with them so that's why he used this person mm -hmm. and who was the person that he used uh, he was some um, uh, uh, he was uh, from not a king but he was uh, 
person of power mm -hmm. within the Mayas, uh, mm -hmm. somebody they will listen to. A power, powerful priest, uh, um, a leader? A leader, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, a leader. Mm -hmm. So he was able to teach through this leader? Yes. Uh -huh. And what did they learn? What did they learn to do? They learned how to heal. Mm -hmm. They learn how to use energy and um, different types of even astrology. Uh, how to, they they figured out uh, they figured out how to how the stars would move, what they meant. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, what see the the stars are alive. Uh, they didn't know that they just knew they were in the stars. They would just admire them. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what. Uh, what they're what they're men, but see um the pyramids that they built they didn't build them we did hmm. we built them up uh, they didn't uh, everything it was for us to teach them to teach them how to how to uh, help themselves how to use that energy to um you know to uh, to benefit uh, themselves, their their civilization. Hmm. Did you build all the Mayan pyramids? Yes. Mm -hmm. How did you build them? What did you use to build them? We use some. Um, um, it's uh, the the same energy that the Mark, the Marco feels. Um, we can uh, we can feel where to where we need to set up. It's uh, it's difficult to explain. Um, Let me put it in a pair of words. We know how the how the starts. I mean, we know the kind of energy that is bringing to this planet, to Mother Gaia. Mm -hmm. So uh, the pyramids, uh, there needs to be in a specific places, you know, specific angles. That's why the that's why the scientists they cannot figure out. There's nothing to figure out about the pyramids. The, the, it's technology from other planets. Mm. They wouldn't understand it. The uh, see, Marco is feeling the energy right now. Mm -hmm. That's why he's checking. Mm -hmm. He's he's feeling that that energy. That uh, see the the pyramids are gas conductors. Mm -hmm. They receive the energy. They um. They um, what, what do you call it? It's, uh, it's difficult because the, you guys as humans, they the, things have to make sense for you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys need to feel more things. Don't try to make them like the, they make sense. They don't need to make sense. Mm -hmm. You need to feel what they are. So these pyramids that are all over the place, all over the globe, they're like positioned in a certain place, almost like when we do our circuit boards. We're giving a micro energy. Okay. They need to so he can explain. He'll, he'll explain to you okay. what it feels like, what it means. Okay. But uh, he feels it uh, like the pyramids will were receiving it. Okay. So he knows. Uh, See, when the pyramids would uh, receive that energy from the stars, from from actually it's not from the stars, it's from it's Christ's light. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's a Christ light. Uh, also, is Christ is a conductor of for God. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like his higher self. If you wanna put it that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, the pyramids, uh, and it's the same as on um, on Egypt. On uh, there's so many places. Uh, Places that uh, people haven't even discovered yet. This in Alaska. Mm -hmm. That's why the. Uh, hmm. See. See. Uh, hmm. People has always been trying to uh, take advantage of. Uh, they try to manipulate that energy. They shouldn't supposed to be manipulating the energy. They should. They should. should wow. He's really feeling that energy that pyramids feel. Mm -hmm. He's checking because he knows he's done it before. You know, mm -hmm. he's uh, see, see, uh, 
see Marco is a very sensitive person. Mm -hmm. When he feels energy, he he feels it throughout his body. That's why he's shaking. Mm -hmm. See, Marco is a is a special being. Mm -hmm. He was sent to Earth to to uh, to heal to heal the Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. He he uses his hands not only to heal people. He's used it before to where there's certain areas mm -hmm. where there's no life. He brings life back. Mm. His energy is his energy is so strong. He he doesn't see. That's why he's learning still. Mm -hmm. He's learning how to use that energy because it's a very part of powerful energy. Mm -hmm. Is uh, is energy from uh, other beings in other planets. Is energy from God as well. Mm -hmm. Is energy from Christ. Is see that's who he mentioned to you mm -hmm. that he feels uh, people's energy, mm -hmm. and it's not really that he feels people's energy. Is he doesn't understand it, but he will. He will understand how to use it. He's he's I mean he's using it right now. Mm -hmm. He uses it all the time. He uses it on, on, his, on his pet. Mm -hmm. He mentioned that to you. Yes. He uh, he healed them. Mm -hmm. You use it too. Yes. Alba, yes. you use it for uh, when you um see. Um, do I have that energy? <sighs> yes, yes. But mm -hmm. do you do have that energy? You you were both uh, learning with the Mayans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but um, your cycle was. Uh, See, people have. <laughs> it's very strange. Mm -hmm. People think that they they die. They don't die. Mm -hmm. It's just their uh, see. Uh, <laughs> Can you explain that? Yes, I I will. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put on the best words because for humans it has to make sense. Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny. Mm -hmm. It's funny how they how they think it is. Mm -hmm. They need so. Well, you're allowing. Him to teach the world about this information. Yes, so this I guess that's what that, uh, I'm trying to uh, find the best words to explain it. Uh, see, energy is not some is something. Uh, is something you feel. You feel it on your hands. You feel mm -hmm. it on your feet. Those are the main the main parts. Mm -hmm. Because the the palms. See, the palms are your conductors. For that energy, that's why. Uh, that's why they feel. You feel warm. They feel hot. Mm -hmm. Whenever you uh, see all these people right now, this moment with all the energy that is coming from uh, from the space, actually got it. Got energy. Mm -hmm. They call it uh, that is these waves of uh, energy, and uh, people are gonna feel it first of all through their hands. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we don't want to see uh, Marco has a special body. He's a, he's a special being in this place mm -hmm. on Earth. He's not from this planet. Mm. He's uh, he wanted to know if he was a walking. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. He is. He is a walking, but it's a special kind of walking. Mm -hmm. You see, people sometimes uh, Marco when he was gonna come in here, it was a mission. He was uh, he was on a mission. But uh, see, uh, even uh, even other beings from other planets, they have so much to learn. That's why they appreciate so, so much when a human comes back, because that's, because a human comes back and uh, humans came here to this world to uh, to experience emotions, mm -hmm. to experience uh, what's the other word. See, it's, it's difficult to put it into words because well, that's one of the. Because that's you're one not of the, human. <laughs> yes, uh, no, no, no. That's one of the limitations humans mm -hmm. have when they come to this world. Mm -hmm. They, uh, it has to make sense on their head, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, energy does. You cannot explain energy. Energy, you need to feel it. Mm -hmm. That's why we send them to to test emotions. Mm -hmm. That's why they're learning emotions, because of, uh, by learning emotions, they learn how to manage the energy that they're receiving, and they uh, they need to get ready because um, 
that energy that that what you would consider a, a wave mm -hmm. that is a very 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 strong wave of energy people will end up uh, getting crazy if we don't do something about it that's what we're doing that's why marco is here mm -hmm. are there more than marco here are there many many mm -hmm. many because super many were needed mm -hmm. so what is this wave that's coming <laughs> where is it coming from is coming from the outside mm. it's coming from a bigger source of energy not the sun mm -hmm. not the see the sun is just a small very little start in the whole system this mm -hmm. is coming from the whole universes mm -hmm. what you was what you guys will call it a multiverse mm -hmm. see a multiverse is is very difficult to explain because a multiverse is just a bunch of uh, not a bunch of but just a, the, 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 the word i'm looking for a multiverse <laughs> many universes yes many universes many situations every every universe has its own its own rules every universe has its own uh, its own lessons hmm. that's more important that's why there's many many universes because every universe has planets every planet has beings in it that are alive see hmm. people think that the animals they have in this in this planet they would this is this is a very special planet hmm. it is a very special planet because we brought beings we brought, all the animals have beings that you know their planets they're alive they're, they can they can commun they can communicate with themselves in mm -hmm. this planet mm -hmm. through what you will call it telepathy mm -hmm. but <laughs> it's not a it's not like they type like i'm talking to you right now mm -hmm. they don't talk like that they type they talk by feelings they came here to learn about feelings too mm. so the animals are here on a purpose too the animals are on a purpose mm -hmm. and it's different because they they know their purpose on on, on earth mm. when uh, that's why um see we don't want dogs to die when they're 15 years old because they don't actually die mm. it's just their mission is ended mm. i see that's one of the lessons that marco needs to learn he will light for his his animals to live forever mm -hmm. and they do live forever not not in the same uh, what you call it the same body uh, no 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 the same i'm form? trying to say dimension but it's a different word that the, not even uh, oh i had it i had the word that you guys will understand and i it just went through my mind mm -hmm. yeah, it's not a dimension it's a uh, plane mm. not in the same plane mm -hmm. see uh dogs cats pigs uh, alpacas camels mm -hmm. they all have a purpose and they don't really die they don't ever die mm. neither does humans they don't understand that they need to understand see a lot of humans are very afraid of death mm -hmm. and that is see for us that's childish mm -hmm. because they 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 uh, they probably won't understand it on the, on this plane on this on this earth that they call it see they need to they need to they have so much to learn they have so much to learn can you tell me about death about As, death mm -hmm. well, what happens when someone physically dies in a body See, a body is like an, uh, what you call it, uh, an automobile for you guys. <laughs> a vehicle? Yes, a vehicle. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. You just switch a vehicle. You have a Toyota today. You may want a Mercedes Benz, some mm -hmm. other stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's not that. See, all of those have their own purpose. Mm -hmm. And when you see people, that's why they're so afraid of death. Uh, yeah, even Marco, Marco is um, Marco has learned so much. He has he has so much to teach. Mm -hmm. Can we get back to that wave? Because that wave seems very important. We're talking about energy. Yes. And you say that this wave can make people crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. okay. not literally crazy. But the but energy will. The energy they won't know how to uh, how, how to, to handle, how it. handle it. There mm -hmm. you go. You you found a better word for that. Mm -hmm. 
and that's why they were sent so, so many like Marco to help them see people don't understand even uh, see he's he got very interested in, in Dr. Greer's uh, mm -hmm. career because uh, we couldn't I mean we needed to get that information through Marco but something that see Marco is a very technical person mm -hmm. yeah and, it's, so it was, that's why it was so hard because he, he wasn't that connected with his uh, feelings mm -hmm. we needed to get more connected with his feelings but in a way that actually makes sense that was that's why we sent also uh, dr. Joe Dispenza mm -hmm. it's very interesting that work uh, is true the work uh, you should pay attention people should pay attention to these guys mm -hmm. Joe Dispenza Joe Dispenza he's um, what you will call psychologist, but he's not really a psychologist. Mm -hmm. He's a healer, just like my quest, just like you are, Alba. Mm -hmm. You you mentioned that you that you met uh, Marco when you guys were Mayans. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you both were teachers there. Mm -hmm. You just had your uh, see. That's why you. That's why people don't understand death. Mm -hmm. Your purpose was uh, was uh, conceive. Is mm -hmm. that is that the word? Yes. I mean, your purpose was was met, was met, and um, that's that's how animals live. Mm. That's what people think so much about. Death. I mean, they're so afraid of that. They <laughs> see they need to let fear go. Mm. They need to let go fear of uh, of a lot of stuff. Uh, that's why they create that karma. They need to let that karma go because when that energy comes by. All that is kind of like a, it's kind of like if you were carrying a a, a big baggage in your back, mm -hmm. and it's so heavy that if you tr if we actually throw more heavy uh, energy on top of that bag that you have, you wouldn't be able to hold it. Mm. That's why we sent uh, people like Marco, like you, mm. like uh, Doctor Joe Dispenza, like uh, mm -hmm. so many people. There's uh, Dolores Cannon was mm -hmm. is one of them. Her, you know her her daughter. Mm -hmm. She um, <laughs> see, uh, she she's working on this book, uh, soul, uh, something about souls. I can't remember the mm -hmm. name, but it is start relating emotions mm -hmm. with uh, how to heal the body. Mm -hmm. The body heals itself, but uh, what we need to teach uh, people is how to manage those emotions so they heal themselves they don't feel so much that empty all that drama they don't need that drama they don't need that fear all those are emotions that's why they're here mm -hmm. they are here the humans came here to learn how to manage how to manipulate not manipulate how to how to manage those emotions mm. so, i don't know if i made myself clear mm -hmm. See, they came here to learn <laughs> since they don't die, but they kill their bodies through the drama that they always play with. Mm -hmm. That's not something you play with because that's a very negative emotion. And uh, uh, see, but they're so so well programmed by the TV and mm -hmm. social and uh, what you call it, so social media mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. see uh, stuff like that is what uh, what poisons people with all the with all those negative emotions and uh, and the people that are doing it they're not from this planet also mm -hmm. but uh, see we put a stop to them long time ago uh, actually was uh, was God uh, that actually did it. Mm, God they, stopped them from yes, influencing they, us? They tried to manipulate the human body. Mm. But aren't they still manipulating as it as the social programming has no, uh, yes, but uh, not as much. Not as much. Not as much. Because they they try to manipulate that they try to form a human that they could use as a robot uh, mm. to uh, to to make them their slaves. Mm -hmm. This is what, what, what you guys will call the Anunnaki. Yes. The, the, yes, the, the Anunnaki, they're not from this planet. They actually came through a, through a portal hole next to the, in some part of the sun. It was, 
it was a mistake. Mm. See, we they think that we are perfect. We are not perfect. Mm. Even the even the higher selves, even the um, the ascended masters that you guys will call. Mm -hmm. We still learning. I mean, we we are not perfect. Mm -hmm. We are we are. I mean, we learn some. I mean, we are masters of something, but we make mistakes too. And that was a mistake that happened. Mm -hmm. and, and somebody unguarded, uh, you know, left unguarded the portal, mm -hmm. and uh, they these these beings came through that is what you will come see. Those beings, uh, you guys have a name for them. They it's what you will call the tall whites. Mm -hmm. It's. Uh, See, Marcos has a has a picture of how they look like. Mm -hmm. They just uh, he can drive for you if you want. Mm -hmm. He can show you a photo. You guys have photos of those yes. things. See, but that's uh, that is uh, that is not important. What was important was what they were trying to do with the humanity. They were trying to turn humans into their slaves. Mm -hmm. So they can uh, see they they, they needed a uh, they needed minerals mm -hmm. to bring to their home planet and, and using the humans and using the humans mm -hmm. it was like using an ox it was just looking like like humans use uh, donkeys mm -hmm. you know how they carry them with bags and, uh, yeah. it was just um, for for them the humans <sighs> were just. Uh, just labor, just human resources. Human resources, yes. Mm -hmm. They were just a resource that they would use, and then they was they will uh, dump them. So how did you? How did God stop all of this? Uh, uh, the message was sent mm -hmm. to God uh, from the actually the the guys that did it. Out. <laughs> this was were beings from the Pleiadians. There was the ones that were supposed to be guarding that. Uh, the portal and uh, they got distracted mm. and uh, but they I mean they went to get uh, God's energy for help and they actually they use uh, it, it was a big word with those uh, beings because they didn't want to they didn't want to give they didn't want to leave they didn't want to give up their their power to anybody mm -hmm. see not, not all of the beings are uh, extraterrestrial beings that you guys call it mm -hmm. um, see these are intradimensional beings they um, they can travel through the through uh, dimension different dimensions not very far because they can f they can travel only so much that we allow them to mm -hmm. because that's why the, see that's that's the reason they they have vibrations mm. um this is kind of confusing because I know I'm talking about a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and I'm just taking little pieces of it but uh, first of all is for you guys to figure out the rest of it because that's <laughs> part of your lesson mm -hmm. and uh, second of all because if I will explain it to you then you guys will will not learn it uh, not in the way that you guys need to learn it mm -hmm. well are the Anunnaki still in control Mm -hmm. Do they still influence us in a certain way? Their energy is. Yes. Their energy, uh, they left because we made them leave. Mm -hmm. but that was us thousands and thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. See, uh, <laughs> here's that thing that will get your mind. Uh, see, people would say thousands and thousands of years ago, time doesn't really exist. Uh, mm -hmm. Time is... Uh, it's bendable. It's bendable. Mm -hmm. Time is. Uh, it, uh, uh, well, I'm trying to find a word that will make sense for you guys because I know a lot of people are gonna be listening to this stuff. And um, time. Time is a uh, is a distance. Uh, you can uh, see time is not something that goes by you and uh, and never comes back. That's just. Mm. That, that, that's uh, you know that's not what it is mm -hmm. that, that's why people can travel through time because time is a um, how do I explain it that's why they use uh, light years mm -hmm. they take, they say uh, it's gonna take so many years to travel to space and they call it um, they measure it by the by the uh, by the speed of light mm -hmm. 
and that's why they call it light years mm -hmm. because they're putting it in uh, see they got that right humans got that correct it, before they used to think it's a theory it's not a theory they have um see time is is something that you can travel on it's like a train mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 like a but it's a much faster it's um i don't know what you guys call those uh trains that <laughs> You know that mm -hmm. the travel very 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 yeah. fast is not like like a regular train is see time is uh i don't know how to explain it time is a is a train mm -hmm. it's like a, you can travel in, in that train so when we do past life regressions we're actually traveling through time yes you take that mm -hmm. you take that train and it just drop, drops you off in mm -hmm. the, and we can make changes along the way <laughs> well i mean um you can make changes, uh, but you shouldn't because on that specific uh, place that they that that train dropped you, mm -hmm. if you want to put it that way, mm -hmm. um, you had a, a mission and you had a purpose and mm -hmm. you had a lesson, mm -hmm. different lessons. That's mm -hmm. why that's why people will will lie to come back. Mm -hmm. They say, um, you know, if I go back uh, three four years ago, I will change this. Mm -hmm. No, you you mm -hmm. shouldn't. The, because there was a lesson for you to learn right. and you have to go through that experience of uh, of uh, <laughs> I don't know how to put it in words of um, missing up um, mm -hmm. you know you have to make that mistake for you to be able to learn that lesson right what I usually do is take people back so that when they have injuries and deaths that are very very bad we can alleviate that trauma from that death yeah so they because don't take it with you. they keep that in their memories mm -hmm. and they shouldn't see the that's the reason i take people back and yes and that's um, that. you're doing a great job on that mm -hmm. because you should do that because see when karma was invented uh he got out of hand mm. because people start falling so much for uh, they start carrying so much karma so much stuff on their backs that they couldn't handle it especially at this moment hmm. i was told that karma isn't happening anymore is that true yes uh, it's not happening on the what you guys call it the new earth mm -hmm. see the new earth is um the planet earth uh, it was like um, you can say you can think of it as a splitting it up in two parts, but it's not really people won't be able to see that People will notice when they're in yours mm -hmm. People will notice that people are nicer nicer mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. People will notice that uh, there's not so much pollution people will start to appreciate more nature and animals and and um, They will start helping you can see that already happening. Mm hmm you can see um, see all of the these uh, earthquakes and uh, this uh, stuff that is going on the hurricanes mm -hmm. hurricane Irma and yeah. hurricane uh, the hurricanes that you guys received in, in Florida mm -hmm. what is that all about um, yes uh, see those are for 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 humans to learn again mm. those are for humans to to come to their senses of who they really are so if you're not part of that hurricane is it because you don't need to learn that lesson um, um, um no it's not really like that see see people focus on the wrong things on those when those uh, catastrophes happen mm -hmm. they're not really catastrophic because if you think about it you don't really die mm -hmm. so if you die and that's uh, you had a special mission mm -hmm. if for some reason you die on one of those uh one of those things uh, like the those mass shootings mm -hmm. people need to focus on uh, the stuff that uh see like those uh, earthquakes in mexico mm -hmm. they don't show you this on tv or whatever they try to you know that programming that it was designed for you to be manipulated mm -hmm. but you can see, that's why we invented uh the other social media so where people can actually be the reporters themselves mm -hmm. they don't need to go through a television programming that is being manipulated mm -hmm. but but uh, by some energy that humans don't understand yet and what people need to focus on is uh, how many volunteers 
you really did see the volunteers coming in. Mm -hmm. Even on the earthquakes, on the... So do they make you more human? They don't make you more human. They already, they already know how, <laughs> what, they already know their purpose of okay. uh, so coming in here. But see, those are for, for, uh, for the humans that are not at that level mm -hmm. to see what the other beings, see those three waves uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, that you guys talk about. Mm -hmm. Those three waves of volunteers, you can see, you really did see them into action when those, uh, when those catastrophes happen, mm -hmm. because you can see the, you can see stuff that you didn't see before. Mm -hmm. You see, you uh, you will see a, a lot of volunteers that uh, that will make a difference. It won't make it so much, you know, so hard on people. I mean, they will the uh, the healing when those things happen. If you would think about it, fifty years ago. It will take years and years and years to recuperate. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, the word I'm trying to use. Mm -hmm. um, it will take years and years and years to uh, to rebuild. Mm -hmm. When these guys rebuild it, uh, you can see it uh, right here with those uh, hurricanes happen. I mean, you can see how fast they they uh, they rebuilt everything, and it was because of those volunteers. Mm -hmm those volunteers really do exist they they're here they're helping not only not only physically but also spiritually with their energy they uh, see that's one of the things uh that's why there's so many people like uh, like marco see mm -hmm. it's uh, it's funny because he doesn't understand what's going on but, but why, why is he it that, will why is it that some of these volunteers that don't like to be around people they don't get along. They're always the black sheep of the family. Why are they in places that they don't like to be in? <laughs> they didn't really want to come. <laughs> they were volunteer when they, uh, you know, when we asked them, but when they took a look at it, they were, well, I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. But we were, I mean, um, we believe so much in them. And they, they actually, they knew, they knew they, they, it's not that they knew they had to do it, but they wanted to help. Mm -hmm. They wanted to help. And that's why uh, so many, they call it that they commit suicide. Yes. They don't really commit suicide. It's just that their purpose is, uh, their mission has ended okay. for them. They have a special, they're volunteers, so they have a special missions. They, they, uh, they don't have to be here with it. That's why they, um, you would call it commit suicide. They don't commit suicide uh, because committing suicide, uh, it creates karma on mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And that's not the same thing. Uh, they, if they wouldn't commit suicide, they would have died either way because they're, uh, their purpose on this uh, plane uh, was uh, was mm -hmm. met. Mm -hmm. Now, is that the same for everyone, or some people do who do commit suicide do have that karma? Um, um, see, karma humans are doing a, a really good job of uh, getting rid of karma. Okay. Yes, you guys are doing a, a very mm -hmm. very good job because you guys don't need karma. You guys not de don't need the drama. Mm -hmm. You guys uh, and you guys are doing a good job. I mean, good. even with all the stuff that see people need to they need to turn off their TVs. Mm -hmm. There's is that kind of energy is see is going back to uh, the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki left. But their energy, um, some of that energy still goes around mm -hmm. because they actually, that's how they, that's how they, um, that's what they eat. Mm -hmm. They, that's how they, f they being fed uh, with that energy. Mm. And they, uh, see, they're the ones that, uh, they're the ones that, um, invented, uh, like, uh, they use in television. See, when, television was invented it was with a, for a good purpose mm -hmm. it wasn't to entertain people it has had nothing to do with that mm -hmm. when television was invented it was to heal people mm -hmm. because the see um, television when it was invented uh, it was invented only for doctors for them to for for, for this doctor from um from uh, boston to be able to teach someone in japan how to operate how to do surgery on some other patient it, it was when this uh, Anunnaki energy 
got in touch with that they start to manipulate it and they are very good at what they do mm -hmm. they, because that's that's how they that's how they eat if you want to say it that way they don't really eat they don't eat humans they eat their energy their bad and their negative energy mm. so when we're watching something for example i'll just give you a simple one let's say we're watching a football game is there any negative energy in that yes okay if uh, you get involved in it if uh, you feel those uh, wrong those negative emotions mm -hmm. so if your team is losing and you're, you're feeling sad and you're feeling, you're feeling angry, uh, angry, angry you're feeling uh, anxious because yeah. they 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 don't <laughs> see all the all of those emotions are the uh, is what <laughs> see uh television made it more uh, harder for you to learn your purpose in this life mm. because it keeps you focused on the negative emotions mm. when you're supposed to be learning uh, the good emotions see see um, that's why um, people think that they're um, people I mean not people humans think that they are um, superior to other species they have so much to learn from uh, from other species from other animals animals are way ahead of humans um, the, in that purpose because they don't have televisions <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to turn it on turn on the TV mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't even they know what it is mm -hmm. uh, they just decide not to play it on that game and that's what humans should do See, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's one of the reasons you just asked the question. Mm -hmm. uh, why do these people, um, you know, uh, are uh, segregated from, uh, mm -hmm. from the other groups? Uh, yes. People like, um, like Marco, like you, you are one of those. Mm -hmm. and, the, and that is because you decide not to play that game. Mm -hmm. You decide not to, not to be part of, of, uh, of what they will consider normal. Mm -hmm. So why do light workers sometimes choose to be in neighborhoods or places that aren't very nice? <laughs> because we send them to heal it. Mm. They're there for a purpose. They're, they are there for to just uh, just the, their presence is is enough. That's why uh, <laughs> you you. You mentioned it to Marco. That's why when I try to leave from this place and try to move to a nicer place, mm -hmm. it doesn't work because you're there to heal. Mm -hmm. You should feel very good about it because you're a special being. Mm. Thank you. So can you tell Marco, you, you told him that he's a walk-in. Did this happen when he was born or did it happen when he burned himself? When the accident happened. So did he actually quote-unquote die in he that die that old soul did that old soul leave and a new one came in what happened we just give it up he was a kid that was not very happy because his his dad was walking around mm -hmm. So this kid um, was not very happy with the life that he was living, mm -hmm. and but his body was very, very, very good condition, and that's why all these walkings they are, um, all these walkings, they're just special beings that um, were sent uh, to the job that uh, that the other soul uh, thought it was too much for him. Mm. That's why we sent this being. See, he he was uh, he didn't really ask you about that, but he mm -hmm. he knows what he looks like in the other plane. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? He uh, <laughs> we sent them. He had it on his home screen on his other phone all the time, and he didn't know what it was. Mm. And that was him. That was like a mirror. He'll he'll show you. He'll okay. he'll remember. We put out. You know, we'll, we'll tell him to, before he goes home, mm -hmm. we'll tell him to, to show you what he looks like on the other planes. And he also had a, his team, what, you want to know, a lot of people want to know what, uh, what their angels look like. Yes, what do angels look like? <laughs> they don't, uh, they don't have, they don't have uh, feathers, they don't have wings, mm -hmm. is there um uh, you will call it their aura. It's not their aura. Their aura is something different. Uh, 
is their energy that they are um, that they are um, how would I put it um, expanding mm -hmm. you see uh, they do it all the time you can feel it you f see um, I know you, even you feel like you have wings sometimes and in that wings is the energy that you're expanding because you are a higher being Mm. You and uh, there's many others. You are not part of the volunteers. You were sent here before, uh, like Marco and like many others were sent here before uh, the volunteers, mm. because you guys were, you guys are the teachers for those volunteers. Ah, because okay. those volunteers, when they come in this plane, in this, in this, di in this dimension, is that one? Mm -hmm. no? In this plane is better. It's a better explanation in this plane. Mm -hmm. They forget what they what they should be doing. Mm. That's why you you have all these sessions, all the people watching in TV. That's why we send you so many so many people to you, so you can teach them. You can teach them. You can remind them mm. what what their purpose is, why why they are here. Hmm. Okay. So I'm being used as a messenger. <laughs> <laughs> as a messenger, but a very important messenger. Yeah. Um, you are you are amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you tell Marco what happened a few years ago when he started gaining weight? Mm -hmm. What was that all about? It was a lesson he needed to learn. Mm -hmm. It was a lesson. Uh, um, <laughs> see, he was his he was uh, awakening spiritually, but he didn't know what it was. He didn't know how to handle it, mm. and. Um, it wasn't uh, he called it gain weight it wasn't gain weight it was so much energy his body was receiving hmm. that it manifested in his body but it was um, he learned how to manage it and that's why he thinks he lost all the weight he didn't lose all the weight he just learned how to manage that energy hmm. he, he, he learned how to filter it and see uh, what Marco does sometimes that's why, he, that's why he goes to forest Hmm. Especially forests that have been burned. Really, he knows. Uh, he knows how to use energy on his hands to real to um, what you call it to relive uh, those uh, mm -hmm. those forests to bring back uh, to bring life back. Yes, you know to uh, to resurrect it. Really, to resurrect it. You mm -hmm. got it. Mm -hmm. So he needs to go to Upper California now, where all those fires are begin to he heal. can do it from he doesn't anywhere. really need to be there he oh, can okay. do it from anywhere okay. and he does it all the time mm, okay. he sends it's funny because he thinks he when we're doing it we try to do it with without him noticing but he does ah. he's uh, he's he's so smart he he does notice when he's doing it and he thinks his monkey mind what he calls it mm -hmm. tells him you know that's weird you shouldn't supposed to be doing that but uh, he does it anyway mm -hmm. but he questions it uh, he's thinking like uh, what am I doing why am I doing this and he see that's one of the things that's one of the reasons humans are here for so they learn not to question the stuff that they feel mm. they should feel it and if when when that feeling met its purpose it will just go away so always follow your gut. always follow your oh yeah you your got intuition. it your gut mm -hmm. that's where you feel it Yes, yes. And if it's coming from your head, that's the monkey mind? <laughs> <laughs> the monkey mind is trying to keep you distracted of what your mm -hmm. real purpose is. But um, see, he, he, knows, uh, he knows how to manage it now. Mm -hmm. The monkey mind is very easy to see. He came here, that type of energy, it was a type of energy that was invented to manipulate a human to keep him distracted for what what they should be doing mm -hmm. but um it's so easy see it, it's like a sword that has two edges uh, mm -hmm. he knows how to manipulate it but uh it's so easy to be manipulated again mm -hmm. you just need to give it a job <laughs> what kind of job does he need to give his his ego his see the ego you're just there to keep you distracted. Uh, mm -hmm. You just need to tell them, like, see, the Buddhists, they got this long time ago. They got it down. Mm. 
Mm. Just tell your monkey mind, hey, watch the breath. <laughs> okay. So it's just so pay easy. attention to my breath and that's pay it. Pay attention to my breath, pay mm -hmm. attention to my nose, pay attention to something to keep the monkey mind distracted. Mm -hmm. Is that the best way to meditate, to keep the ego yes. entertained? Yes. Okay. Just tell him, watch the breath. Hey, when he starts talking like a monkey, like a... <laughs> When he starts going going off on you, yes, may watch the breath, mm -hmm. and he'll do it because he's you. Uh, you're the guy in power. Mm, okay, good. He tells me that he's had a hypnotherapy session before, a couple of them, but he doesn't remember anything. He feels as if he fell asleep. He shouldn't supposed to remember. He's not supposed to remember. It was just energy that was sent to him. Uh, see, this happened when um, when he gained all the loss, when he said that he was feeling burned out. Mm -hmm. All that energy, he wouldn't be able to handle it. Uh, he was thinking about committing suicide at some point mm -hmm. because he didn't know what's, what's going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, but we uh, that's why we sent them to the see the the therapist that he mentions. <laughs> we use them. We use that therapist as um, as a conductor for the energy that we were sending Marco to. That's why he knows what to do now because he learned it, uh, the energy that we downloaded on that time at that time mm -hmm. on those on those sessions was the energy the energy that he's using right now to to heal. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. Now, I have dealt with other people who don't know what's going on with them. They feel paranoid. They feel as if they feel other people's feelings. They don't know what to do with it. They want to end it all. What do we tell those people that are so desperate that they don't know what to do with this energy and their superpowers? So, hmm. So you can you can try to help them, but mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they're so deep into that uh, into that trauma, mm -hmm. and trauma is a very negative energy. It doesn't do any good to people. Mm -hmm. Drama and uh, and anger mm -hmm. and uh, see he, even emotions have a level. They're, like anger is the, like the top of the level. People mm -hmm. shouldn't be feeling angry. Mm -hmm. You know, hung, I don't know how to say that. Anger. Um, how do how do you say that? Where they shouldn't supposed to be, you know, feel anger towards other people mm -hmm. because we all do. We are all the brothers. Yes. We are all the um, light beings. Yes. It's just uh, it's just the some some of these beings that were sent to this. Uh, to this plane, they were sent to teach the other beings that don't remember what they're supposed to be doing. Mm. So like their parents, for example? Kind of like their parents, kind of like a mentor, really. Yes. Not so, really a parent. So, so but, but sometimes we have parents that are very abusive, and these children are sent to these parents as teachers? They have a lesson to learn, and they actually chose that when they made they made a contract mm -hmm. for them to learn the lesson when parents are abusive to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if uh, I I'm sure they want to know what the lesson is. Mm -hmm. See, the lesson is for them to not to um, retaliate, but to kind of like to. It's a lesson of self worth. Mm -hmm. It's a lesson that they sh that teach them that teach them that they're worth more than them. even their parents tell them they're worth. Mm. And we're not telling them not to listen to their parents. We tell them, yeah, listen to them. But I mean, see the the abusing part is a contract that they chose before they came in here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a spiritual boot camp. Where yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's what a, that is. Mm -hmm. So they can get strong. It's hard. That's why or this is a very hard planet to come and learn those lessons mm. because in other planets, in other planes, in other dimensions, it's not like that. See, Earth is. Uh, that's why we have this kind of like isolated. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct word. Uh, separated. Mm -hmm. Because uh, 
Earth, uh, not Earth, but humans. See, Earth is a, is a being. Earth is a very, very, very wise uh, mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but it was, it has so much love in her mm -hmm. that she was willing to take uh, humans. She was willing to be part of uh, an experiment, mm -hmm. which was humans. It's kind of an abusive relationship too, isn't it? It is abusive, right but uh, but Earth is healing itself. Okay. That's why you see all these hurricanes and all these uh, catastrophe. You guys call it. They're mm -hmm. not catastrophes. Or it's just learning. It's just learning um, to heal herself. It just um, Earth is learning what it really is. Mm. So she's kind of growing up and. It's growing out of uh, all the karma. Earth has karma as well. Mm. Okay. Now Marco told me that. There are some big electrical towers in his backyard. Yes. Are they affecting him? These they're are, really not. Uh, they're not. No, because he knows how to handle that energy now. Ah. See, he came. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. He came uh, one time and put like a net around his house, mm -hmm. and energy doesn't go through that net. Okay. And now, uh, see, he, <laughs> he. That's why we say he's a special being. Mm -hmm. He didn't put a net on his on his uh, yes around his house. He put a net up around the whole um, the whole uh, region where those towers are. Mm, okay. So he's he's protecting all those all that region. See where those towers are. Beings like uh, Marco, special beings, they can put healing. They can set protections. But uh, again, uh, that's why it's. It's like a on and off game mm. because uh, as much healing as you can bring Alba even to your clients if they go back to the same negative emotions and they go back to the drama and they go back to the to the watching the game on Sunday night mm -hmm. or I don't know whatever they 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 they, they watch the healing that you do it works but if these people if these people if these humans they haven't learned that lesson, the healing that you do it works at some point. But they, if they need to be, if they need to learn a lesson, there's no healing that can help them. Mm -hmm. They need to learn that lesson. Mm -hmm. See, that's 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 one of the reasons. Uh, that's one of the reasons Marco doesn't get it with his family. Mm -hmm. We tell them. All the time, we remind me, Marco, don't intervene, dude. So all those questions that he had about his family's health is basically mind your own business? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you not mind their own businesses. They, there's going to be a time when they're going to come and look for help. Mm -hmm. That's when you you should be ready to help them okay, but, when the time comes. But they need to ask for that help. They need to. See, you got it, Alba. Mm -hmm. just they like, need to ask for the help. Just like when the clients come to me, that I don't accept clients that, that haven't come to me on their own behalf. And you shouldn't mm -hmm. because they're not ready for it. Correct. Even if you heal them with your energy, they won't receive it because they're their higher self mm -hmm. particularly they haven't in that in that position for a purpose mm -hmm. they need to learn the lesson before they they uh, receive the healing okay okay now uh, we were talking about the protection that he put around uh those towers mm -hmm. should he be using any crystals or any pendants or anything like he, that for protection he can use uh, you can, you told him what what he needs to use those um the selenite the mm -hmm. the, the pyramids <laughs> see he goes back to the <laughs> the pyramids the pyramids yes mm -hmm. the pyramids they're they're on that f that figure for a purpose mm -hmm. see the pyramids is what you will guys know as a plug in the wall mm. it's just a conductor of uh, a stronger energy Hmm. See, that's a, I know he was. He wanted to ask you why he was so afraid of thunderstorms, and yes. you told him you were exactly right. So he was when when I told him the story of how my dog 
was terrified of thunderstorms until I began to feel it also. And it was the energy that was being, that was coming from the thunder. Is that why he was feeling the thunder? Because it was... Uh, the energy? It was the energy. He, he felt the energy since he was a kid because mm -hmm. when he came in, when he was a walk-in, mm -hmm. That was a you call it a superpower. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a it's a special power that is is meant with a purpose. Mm -hmm. It was given to him with a purpose, and he's he's using it. He's using it um, to help. He feels the energy, and he sends energy. See, he feels the energy, and he knows what to do with it. Uh, so he knows how to how to send healing to that energy. So is this something that he should be doing in the future yes. as, a, as a career? Yes. Mm -hmm. He he knows. Um, he, he wanted to ask you if he if if it was proper for him to learn uh, Reiki. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 What about the Tai Chi or Qigong? Mm. He already knows how to use those. So he knows that. So Reiki would be a good one for him to use. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. He wanted to ask. Him. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, this is funny. He wanted to ask you if uh, quantum, I don't know if he did, uh, if mm -hmm. quantum, quantum healing, healing was, sorry. see, um, people call it too many, too many different names, but it's the same thing. As long as he's healing, as long as it benefits uh, the people that want the help, mm -hmm. that's what he should be doing. So it doesn't matter what you call it, it's just energy that he know he has. It's yes. his gift. Yes, yes. People, people that that have those gifts, they know it. Okay. Yes, some of them are are not sure about it yet, and that's why you're here for Alba mm -hmm. to remind them. <laughs> Good, thank you. He tells me that he's been doing some meditations lately, and he said that when he did mine a while ago, he felt that sticking of energy or something throughout his body and then all of the people were cheering what was that <laughs> <laughs> all of the people cheering where uh, what you call his uh, what you called your angels ah. uh, see uh, marco does he has the angels mm -hmm. that you work with yes he's used them before mm -hmm. he uh, and uh, but uh, see that particular time that energy was uh, <laughs> was kind of like a re recharge hmm. for him because he's gonna be a uh, he's already he's already learning how to use he's gonna be a big part on this uh, wave of energy that is gonna come hmm. he's gonna see he uses his hands let me show you mm -hmm. see he uses his hands because he knows how to move uh, the mm -hmm. energy. He knows how to move the energy. And he knows how to expand it. Uh, he does this thing with his hand. Mm -hmm. He expands the energy. You can see his uh, hand, not right now physically, but uh, mm -hmm. his hands is very, very powerful. It's yellow. It's like a bright uh, yellow, kind of like a... I don't know how to explain it, but he goes around the forest and uh, he uses his hand, kind of like a con what you will call a control. Mm -hmm. He just expands, expands the energy, and you can see the energy expanding uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, when that energy expands everywhere, uh, he's done it. Uh, he's done it a few times already. That uh, he's learning. He hasn't mastered it yet, but he's he's getting there. Mm -hmm. He's getting there, and uh, but the energy that he spends, see that particular time, that particular time when that happened, it be, is because him. It was it didn't only happen not not only to him. It happened to a special group mm. that we have. Mm -hmm. See, people, there's more to it than you guys will ever imagine. Uh, we have the bluebirds, mm. the blue beans, the avians. The blue avians? Blue avians, yes. Can you tell me a little bit about <laughs> the blue avians? Uh, those guys are uh, are so great. Those guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. 
What are they doing here? <laughs> They're here to help. Mm -hmm. They are here to help. They try though. <laughs> See, uh, people are so much being manipulated. They have to, they have uh, contact um, your your uh, your government uh, officials from your government government before. Mm -hmm. But the wrong officials, they try to control the military, what you guys call the military complex, mm -hmm. the industrial military complex, and they don't have the best intentions mm -hmm. for humanity, but we are, uh, we don't, they don't have the power to hurt humanity. Mm -hmm. It's just like little kids. We just let him go so far, and then we tell him, okay, enough, give us that toy back, you don't know how to use it. <laughs> now, I recently heard that during the times of uh, when they were testing the missiles, that there were many UFOs that disabled them. Yes. Were these the blue avians or something else? No, this no. is, uh, they, see, we have uh, special groups, if you want to call it that way. Yeah. We have a special groups that uh, are, um, Kind of like they have the navy and the army mm -hmm. and um, you know those military people. Yes. We have groups like Tata that are meant uh, for uh, not a specific purpose, mm -hmm. but um, that was a special group that we sent uh, from uh, from Venus. From Venus. Yes. So the the Venetians were the ones the Venetians that were were the ones acting on the on the part. See, um, all of the people, all the beings that are here from other planets, they wanna help. They wanna help. They don't wanna help humans. They wanna help humans in a matter that humans learn how to heal themselves. Okay. And they are doing it. Mm -hmm. They are succeeding. They are. Uh, See the bell, what you call the bell is sinning. He's gonna, that's why you, <laughs> I know you ask a lot on, you know, what what time uh, mm -hmm. when is, is, the, gonna happen? When is this gonna happen? <laughs> well, we're gonna have hundreds or thousands <laughs> of people asking when. When is this wave coming? This wave's coming <laughs> very soon. Well, soon could be. Soon for a child is different than soon for an adult. Yes, and um, see, uh, very soon. See, that's the thing again with time. You mm. guys try to measure time. Time cannot be measured. Mm. Time is... Um, <laughs> it's space. It's space. Mm. But it's very soon. I will, I, will, I will say within the next year. I'm having in my mind 2018. 2018. 2018, that's when the very first wave is going to come. So there's several waves. Yes. Is this like a notion that the waves are going to keep coming? It's kind of like, like a tsunami. Where you like a tsunami? Up. Yes. Ooh. There's uh, very big waves and they're smaller and some are bigger, some are sm a little smaller. Mm -hmm. But they, they don't have a, a, a bad purpose. So mm -hmm. to, you know, we, we don't hurt humans. We don't hurt. You said it before, we cannot hurt humans more than, you, than they can hurt themselves. Mm -hmm. So this wave that's coming, and everyone talks about this wave, is this a wave of energy? Yes. Only, and this energy is this something that's going to make us like electrified or no. or or it's gonna make psychic you wake. or what? It's going to wake you up. It's going to wake you up. So it's a it's a wave to wake us up to a different plane, a different dimension, a different. People are going to become more emotional, yeah. more in touch with their emotions. Mm -hmm. They're going to learn really what their purpose is in this uh, in this plane. Mm -hmm. They're going to see that that first the very first way is very important because because it's going to remind, it's going to wake up people to the sense that they're going to remind, uh, they're going to remember what their purpose is in here. Mm. You, that's why we, we need you so much, Alba, because um, I know you sometimes feel kind of like burned out, <laughs> but we, we really, that's really... an understatement. <laughs> We really, really need you, Alba. I know you're working on a book, and that is very, very good. Actually, you're working on several works, books, and you know, see, this is what happens with time. Your books are done. <laughs> <laughs> they just haven't come out yet. So why don't you just send them to me so I don't have to work yet? <laughs> <laughs> see, because that's uh, that's a thing that um, 
if we will send it to you, what will, what benefit would it be for you? That would get tired. <laughs> oh yes, yes. But um, see, um, when you get tired, you just need to rest. Mm -hmm. uh, they knock me down in Australia. That's for sure. <laughs> That's why when you were feeling that flu that hit you so hard, yes. uh, see, uh, that's why we uh, we send uh, Doctor Joe Dispenza because he he really relates to that. Um, there's another doctor that Marco forgot to mention to you is mm -hmm. this doctor from Spain uh, that he is very good at. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name have several books too you'll find them on your um, is that YouTube what you call it mm -hmm. you'll find them there is this doctor that relates also he works a lot of um, on allergies see he he works a lot of um, on people mm -hmm. that um, they um, see when humans get sick they hurt themselves nobody else does mm -hmm. it for them yeah see when that flu, that flu has a meaning mm -hmm. that flu is telling you to rest but rest. see <laughs> i know <laughs> i had to rest in a very beautiful place <laughs> <laughs> see but uh, but it's a contradiction because your body wants you to rest your mm -hmm. higher self wants you to rest but we need you working so <laughs> is <he's>, uh, <laughs> yeah it is a contradiction <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about the Dr. Greer meditation that he had. <laughs> he said that he was lifted into space and went through a wormhole <laughs> and ended up looking down at this cave in the middle of nowhere. That was quite a trip. Yeah, what was this deserted area in some planet that he saw? It wasn't just that. Uh, he, uh, we took him first. Uh, <laughs> we took him back to where he belongs. Hmm. Where does he come from? He comes from energy. Hmm. And see, that's why we say he's a special being. You are from the same place, Opa. Hmm. You guys don't. Um, you guys don't. Um, you guys don't belong here. You guys were sent um, on a special mission, if you wanna call it that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, you guys come from a very, from a very different. Uh, I don't wanna say that mention. Uh, but you guys are see um, we have we have several levels mm -hmm. on the um, on masters that are here on earth mm -hmm. that's why you have uh, jesus jesus see jesus uh what you call it um, um the other um that you guys will call um uh, Hilba, is that one Hilba. Um, mm -hmm. Hilba. and mm -hmm. uh you um uh, but the Lalai lama the mm -hmm. allah Mm -hmm. All of these, uh, all of these uh, beings are ascended masters. That's mm -hmm. what we call it. Yes. But uh, see, uh, you are you are not an ascended master. You are higher than that. You, you come from a from a very special place mm -hmm. on the, on this universe. You and Marco and many others, and you guys you guys know it. Mm -hmm. You because you guys can feel that. You guys feel that you guys don't belong in this place and that's why you guys do your own thing. <laughs> Break all the rules? Break all the rules because see rules it goes back to the same thing back and back again. See even uh, I know uh, I know people have see uh, it's very strange because if you mention if you really mention where the bible came from people mm -hmm. get all emotional about it and they start defending their beliefs and mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that way the bible was sent here with a purpose as well and it was a good purpose mm -hmm. until the humans got hand of it mm -hmm. they start they started to twist the spaces here and and try to explain to people a different meaning than what you mm -hmm. what it really is mm -hmm. <sighs> And so people start to believe, and that's why you have so many religions, if you say, you mm -hmm. want to call it that way. Mm -hmm. oh, all of these religions, there's only one religion. That's love. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the true religion. There's no really... See, um, <laughs> if you want to follow a religion, I'm not trying to tell you follow these guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, these guys are so wise. These guys are... <sighs> 
because these guys were some of the very first beings light beings that came to earth mm -hmm. you have uh, and, and Marco follows them very well he has uh, you follow uh, Dalai Lama and um, Thich Nhat Hanh. Mm -hmm. see these are very special beings they're, they're, these are like him these are see um, Marco's body is just uh, is just like a automobile hmm. the being that, uh, that is inside Marco is a uh, it's a light beam, is but it's a different kind of light. It's just like yours. Mm. You guys are so powerful. You guys have no idea. Hmm. No, I don't. <laughs> Talking about energy, is Dr. Stephen Greer going to succeed in bringing free energy? Yes. He is. Yes, he's already working on it. He's already working on it. Good. He's, uh, the government has suppressed until this point, but there's going to come a time when mm -hmm. that's not going to happen. Is this wave of energy going to help yes. bring this about? See, this wave of energy is going to wake up humans mm -hmm. for them to have a more open-minded, mm -hmm. to be more open-minded to different things that exist in this world, not just what, uh, what they're being told mm -hmm. exist. Okay. That's why we need see this this wave uh, was was programmed by uh you wanna call it see we don't really program things mm -hmm. and uh, where we come from. Even God doesn't really program things. See God and all these other beings that comes from other planets, they already have uh they see it's very it's very interesting because uh they already knew how they have already learned the lessons about emotions but somehow uh humans are so curious uh that they uh, they bring up uh, more lessons that they haven't learned yet you know all this that's why that's why they're so amazed with humans because as much as violent as they are and as much as, uh, as much as they try to destroy themselves several times we won't let that happen mm -hmm. because there is another planet is another we will put a stop to see we stopped that long time ago that's why uh that's why we don't let they talk too much about all oh, these third war war world or whatever you guys call it that's mm -hmm. not gonna happen world Be war three world war three there you go mm -hmm. that's why nothing happens when something comes close to it we uh, we send energy for for the right people to make mm -hmm. the right choices okay. for to, to stop that from happening because that is not gonna happen because see uh wars are part of our karma mm -hmm. and karma is not good anymore for uh, <laughs> Do you hear that? That's funny. <laughs> he he. <laughs> See, people think that they need to eat so much. They don't. That's why they get obese. Mm. They don't really need to eat that much. They don't need to eat beef. They should stay away from beef mm -hmm. because um, all the stuff that is going on with beef, mm -hmm. all the hormones, all the antibiotics, all mm -hmm. these chemicals that they that they're working see we're working on that too mm -hmm. we're yeah. working on that energy to heal all the see that's why all this it comes back to the same thing this uh, wave of energy is gonna wake people up so people know the truth about what's going on mm -hmm. and also for these beings that are hurting uh, hurting these uh these animals they're gonna stop doing it mm. What would be his best diet? Because right now you had him fasting. He's been, he hasn't had anything to eat all day. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we, he had to. You told him he had to be that way. <laughs> because uh, when he was, see, if he would have eaten something, yes. remember when he was checking? Mm -hmm. uh, he wouldn't have handled the food. He wouldn't have handled the food. You will have to have a bucket right next to him. <laughs> we, we, we. Uh, we made you a favor, Allah. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Could you help him with his diet and exercise so that he can... He's already doing it. He's mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Are the smoothies and vegetable yes. juice good? Yes. Anything yes. he can improve on? Yes. He, uh, he puts um, he put the plant-based pow pow um, powders. Yes. Powders on his... Uh, on his uh, on his shakes. Yes. Uh, don't do that. Uh, go get... Um, the real stuff uh, 
preferably organic mm -hmm. he's doing it mm -hmm. he's eating organic which is very very good for him for anybody mm -hmm. i know people see is this it depends how you look at it because people think you know organic food is so expensive and so hard to find mm -hmm. but we tell them like it is either you eat fine and you keep your body healthy and the way it's supposed to be or we'll give you a disease a disease I mean, we, it came out wrong we don't give you a disease we give you a lesson mm -hmm. for you to stop doing what you're doing that's why people get obese mm -hmm. that's why people get heart attacks that's why people get uh, all these uh, all these problems that has to do with them, them eating too much. They don't mm. need to eat so much. Mm -hmm. You know what you really need to eat on a day? Just fruits and vegetables and, mm. location and, uh, and seeds. Mm, and seeds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seeds are really good for your um, digest digestion. That's what you call it. Yes. Digestion system. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what seeds, seeds do to you. What are those people who have uh, diverticulitis where the seeds get caught up in their intestines? They, they see that uh, it's funny. All those diseases that you that you call them, mm -hmm. they're not really diseases. They're lesson that they need to learn. It's a different meaning. See, they don't. Um, I know why. I know what you're talking about. It kind of like puts little holes. You know, they're supposed to get stuck on your mm -hmm. system on the digestive system and put uh, yes, put holes in there. Mm -hmm. That seeds are not doing it. We are. Mm. We're trying to teach you a lesson. Okay. Now, I thought that this planet was a free will planet. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me that when you talk about we, is it the higher self or are others manipulating us? It's, uh, <laughs> see, we are, we are manipulating <laughs> that, if you want to call it that way. Yeah. But it's with a good purpose. It's like you have kids, right? Yes. Yeah. And you sometimes do stuff for your kids to learn the lesson, even, even if it's going to hurt them a little. Mm -hmm. Because you know you're not mean to them. You know how far to go. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the same way with us. We, uh, we give you, um, we don't really give you a disease. We give you a, we give you a lesson that then you manifest into a disease. Mm -hmm. But you do it all by yourself. We don't do that for you. Okay. So when people come here for healing, uh -huh. from one of these diseases. Uh -huh. Have they learned the lesson? Do you They act? are on their way to learning the lesson. That's why they come to you. Okay. Because see, when they come to you, that's why we don't we don't need you helping people that are, that don't come to you. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> <laughs> he needs to uh we we working on fixing his all his you see all that cracking on his mm -hmm. bones. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, when he was a kid, before that walking, when he was a kid, he used to walk um, barefooted on the on cement mm. all the time, and it created some type of uh, you walk, what you call it arthritis. Arthritis. But it's not really arthritis. It's see, it's a lesson. It's exactly what we're trying to explain. Mm -hmm. Is that we don't give you a disease. We give you a lesson, and then you manifest it into a disease. Mm -hmm. so you do that all by yourself, and since you do that all by yourself, you can fix it. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes we need. It's like that's why we send people to you, Alba, mm -hmm. because sometimes they cannot do it on their own. Mm -hmm. They need you. That's why all the people that we send you, that because they are right there on their path of mm -hmm. learning that lesson, and they just need a little bit of help with the healing, and that's that's why you're doing. That's okay. what Marco is gonna be doing too. Good, good. So um, we were talking about his body. What's going on with his eyes? He says that he's got a, a blurred line in his right eye. What is that <laughs> lesson? <laughs> we put that in there. What is that? that for him to, to stop uh, putting stuff that he's sure not supposed to be putting in his body and he learned it mm -hmm. so that the, eventually within the next year or so he's gonna go away by himself because he has learned that he, he just needs to lose the extra weight that he still has he he was very very heavy he got so heavy 
his uh, and she does that thing some of the she does we go back to the same thing mm -hmm. we we gave him some energy but he misunderstood it and he started putting uh, putting up a weight on his own mm. that wasn't part of us and he would put way too much on his own mm -hmm. see um, we put him on, an, on the edge when people are kind of like having see that's why we say, people think that things happen of, out of uh, what you call it um uh, no, I'm trying to think of the word uh, you will understand um, coincidence mm -hmm. nothing is by coincidence nothing even meeting people no nothing is nothing is coincidental there you go you have the word mm -hmm. why didn't you give it to me Alba? Mm -hmm. uh, nothing is coincidental everything has a purpose even Marco being here today mm -hmm. is not coincidental mm -hmm. we sent them here it came a long way Yes, <laughs> he really hated that first flight. Mm -hmm. It was four hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was hor it was miserable. It mm -hmm. was horrible. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, I mean, we we told him. Uh, he, I know he told you that uh, we talked to him, yeah. and he started see that's one of the things he he already started trusting us. Yes, trusting the voices. Do mm -hmm. he calls the voices in his mm -hmm. head? Is uh. He knows already that his higher self is, is he, he was gonna ask you, mm -hmm. how would I recognize the voice of my higher self? Mm -hmm. that, that, um, very easy, is him. Mm -hmm. Is everybody, their higher self is themselves. Yeah. It's just a different uh, dimension, not a dimension, a different level their higher self is. Mm -hmm. And they need it, humans do need us. Uh, now when you address yourself, you always say us. <laughs> what because is the higher self? We are one. Mm. One love. That's what uh, Bob Marley just said. Uh huh. Is it what? Is it us between you, Marco, and the higher self, or is the higher self all of the higher selves? Well, we work together, but not. Is us meaning him and his guides mm -hmm. and his angels and mm -hmm. his uh, and uh, see people depending on see this, this is the thing people depend on their beliefs they have a ascended master on right. that's why you have the Dalai Lama and you have Jesus Christ and you have uh, Jehovah and mm -hmm. that's because that's their beliefs see religion were invented with a good purpose as well mm -hmm. but um, well I've dealt with the prophets and the gurus oh wow mm -hmm. No, those are... Uh, <laughs> but everybody <laughs> has a belief system. Oh, yes, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> people should stay away from those people. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gurus. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so it's go, funny. go higher. Go higher. There you go. Okay, good. Now, should Marco be moving somewhere to where he can enjoy the scenery more he's thinking of washington or another place he's not moving to washington not in a, not in the near future no because we need him uh, just like we need you in miami we need him <laughs> where he is at right now mm -hmm. he's doing a, a, a job in there and he's eventually see marcos fisher is very very prosperous is that a mm -hmm. good word mm -hmm. yes uh because he's uh he doesn't really get flights Mm -hmm. But he's gonna be tra traveling a lot because he's gonna little by little he's gonna he's gonna learn those techniques and he's gonna learn how to heal. He knows how to heal people, but he's gonna. We just haven't sent them people yet mm -hmm. because he needs to learn a little more. Mm -hmm. But he will know when the time is right. He's not, he's not very, see, he's, he hates his job mm -hmm. because it's so boring to him, but he needs to understand that that job has also a purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes, his presence, he's helped so many people. You should see him at his work. Mm -hmm. he's, he's opened the eyes of so many people at his work that... Uh, <laughs> That seems to be the case with a lot of light workers that they don't like their job, but it seems that they're there for their co-workers. Yes. 
Yes, mm-hmm. they're exactly. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. They are therefore to help their co-workers. Yes, their presence alone is helping them so much. Mm-hmm. But we we give them the right energy to help their co-workers see everybody all of the volunteers they are doing their own part they are doing uh, little by little they are helping all the people that they need to to help Mm -hmm. that's why we kind of like divided this dimension into two earths because some of these people are gonna have to come back and relearn the lesson but Mm -hmm we try to save as many people as possible Mm -hmm. because they don't we need that people on the new earth Mm -hmm. what is this new earth going to be like oh uh, (laughs) beautiful Mm -hmm. it's going to be beautiful because first of all you don't have all those negative energies Mm -hmm. because we (laughs) can see that's that's one of the things that marco is doing he's on this new earth he's again doing his energy that he's supposed to be doing Mm -hmm. to protect put like a ring around the new earth Mm -hmm. and a lot of other beings are doing it the blue avians are doing it are doing their part Mm -hmm. very very well Mm -hmm. they have a (laughs) see they have a spheres is is really it's really interesting how they came out with these spheres Mm -hmm. can you tell me about them yes this is spheres that they have they create them with their mind they manifested them but these spheres are, are special these spheres are all around this universe in different spots mm-hmm. if you look at the you have your solar system mm-hmm. and we put them in different spots because that's where the waves are gonna come through and each individual sphere is supposed to be a job see their their those spheres are supposed to canalize the energy that is coming to earth mm-hmm. so as they they bring that that energy through is it supposed to be stronger as it gets through no, no. that's why we put them there okay he's supposed to canalize it and make it uh softer softer for, so it won't for, blow us for, away no no see that's it wasn't gonna is uh, <laughs> people have this understanding misunderstanding that you know, if the, when this energy comes, there's gonna be all these disasters and these catastrophes. No, no it's not like that. This energy is a spiritual energy. Mm-hmm. This energy is uh, is for for not uh, not beings like you, Alpha, because you already there. Mm. And so is Marco, but he needs to learn more. Mm-hmm. And so is so many others are on their path to learning more about it. Mm-hmm. But for the people that are not yet there yet. This energy is for those people. Okay. Not f- not for uh, not for the volunteers. See a lot of the new kids that we call the star childs. Mm-hmm. They already have that uh, that pr- you want to call it programming. Mm-hmm. Uh, they already have that in them. So they already know. They already know. Mm-hmm. That's why if you if you look at kids, they are so special because. <laughs> See, Marco was going to ask you, he didn't want to bombard you with all kinds of questions. <laughs> One of his questions was about autism. Mm. Can you tell me about autism? Yes. Mm-hmm. Autism is all, all of these uh, kids that apparently have autism. Is just that is just the, the doctors mm-hmm. or the humans, uh, mm-hmm. they don't understand that kind of energy yet. Mm. But these guys are special. These they don't have no disease that, that autism doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. See, none of the diseases exist. You guys manifest them, I and you guys think that they exist. But it on, they only exist because you guys think that they exist. Mm-hmm. See, when somebody says, "Oh, I have a headache," or "I have a flu," mm-hmm. you giving your you focusing focusing yourself on that, uh, mm-hmm. giving energy to that thought. Yeah. Uh, that's what really gives it to you but it's kind of like you want a headache or here's a headache yeah you wanted it you asked for it mm-hmm. we don't we wouldn't give it to you we don't give it to you you give it to yourself mm-hmm. but uh <laughs> well i give it to me myself when i have caffeine <laughs> oh yes that's a lesson don't, eat, don't drink that stuff <laughs> no don't drink caffeine caffeine um See, there's nothing wrong with caffeine, not even tobacco, mm-hmm. but uh, humans, humans 
have used so many chemicals on those things. Mm -hmm. um, see, that's why there's, they have so much hate. Uh, is that what you call it? So much misunderstanding mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. towards others drugs like like marijuana mm -hmm. marijuana is a plant mm -hmm. it's a plant that has this uh this chemical that that works on your brain to relax you mm -hmm. it, there's nothing wrong with it it becomes wrong when you mix it up with chemicals mm -hmm. but when you use see people in uh, south america they drink teas made out of uh, marijuana leaves and uh what you call the the coca mm -hmm. is that co coca leaf yes they uh because it's a medicine it's medicine it's not a drug mm -hmm. it becomes a drug when you mix it up with chemicals and that's what they do with the coffee that's what they do with the coffee which is the allergic reaction that i guess yes. mm -hmm. they put so many chemicals chloro and mm -hmm. aluminum and so many mm -hmm. mercury so many chemicals that you guys wouldn't believe is that affecting the minds of people all these people it's who drink so much coffee it's their pineal brand the uh, gland the pineal gland the pineal gland so all that coffee is affecting the pineal gland yes mm. it makes them huh, i don't want to put in that way uh, i don't want to say uh it makes them dumb mm. uh, i don't it know numbs them down no uh dumb dumbs them down dumbs them down there you go yes yes mm. you got it so is that why there's so many coffee chains out there <laughs> It's again that energy. Mm. That energy is still around. That energy from the Anunnaki is still around us, but uh, only if you give permission to it. Mm. Okay. See, there, there's a, there's a, something that Marco didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. He was about to tell you. He wanted to know what that was like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I mean. But when you let that energy hit you. Mm -hmm. When he was a kid, that energy recognized who he was mm. and tried to penetrate him. And he didn't let it do it. Mm. He didn't let that happen. He thought it was a nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare. He he'll tell you that it was he saw a black butterfly like a like a moth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a butterfly or a moth. It was the black energy that tried to. He recognized who he was and he tried to stop him because. It will contradict to what they're trying to do, mm. but they're uh, see they're not they they're not very all that energy all the negative energy they're not very powerful. Mm. We are much we are just yes, you humans are much more powerful than it. They become powerful when you give them that power. Okay, good, good. Would you tell him about his tattoo on the right <laughs> shoulder? What does that mean? That's from back on with the Mayans. The Mayans. Yes. What does it signify? It's a key. It's a key. He told you that he sees that thing brightening up and turning around. It's a key. Mm, okay. He'll know when the time comes what that key means. He's going to go back to Yucatan mm -hmm. to, uh, to, use that, that, to use that energy. And he'll know how to use that key when he, when he goes there. Wonderful. To good. the um, Riviera Maya. Okay, good. Now he has questions about his dogs. Mm -hmm. He likes. He wants to know how their dog, the dogs, are doing, and how he could talk to them. Let me see if they want to mm -hmm. communicate well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So who can we talk to with today? Pichi. Pichi Quas. Pichi Quas. <laughs> okay. Can I speak with Pichi Quas? Yes. Thank you. Pichiquas, how are you? Good. What would you like to tell Marco today? We miss him. We don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. Tell him how you're feeling. We love him so much. Mm -hmm. See... We love him so much. He saved our lives. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from Marco? He's our leader. Mm -hmm. We have met before. Mm -hmm. We are not his dog. We're his. We are from where 
same planet as he is. Mm -hmm. We just took a different form in this on this plane, mm -hmm. but we are uh, we are his um, company. Okay. And what is your purpose for being in his life? We help them out. We help them uh, keep his mind uh, on the right direction. Mm, okay. So so he can do his energy healing. Very good. Pichiquas, what about the other dogs? Mm, do you wish to speak to them? Yes. Okay. Who would you like to bring forward this time? Harocha wants to talk to him. Okay. Harocha? Uh-huh. Harocha, how are you today? Good. Good? What would you like to tell Marco? <laughs> we care so much. You care so much for him? Tell him. He feels he feels what we feel. Mm -hmm. Even on this plane, it's, it's very strange because people think we're stupid. We're not stupid. Mm -hmm. We are so intelligent. We are so smart. You think you you think you went to uh, <laughs> see we we met you. You don't you didn't meet us. Mm -hmm. That meeting was not coincidental. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have a pet, mm -hmm. it's because that was meant to be. You come to us. Yes. For a reason, for a mission. Yes. Mm -hmm. We understand more about energy than you do, mm. and we teach you how to use it. I noticed, Harocha, that when a human is sick, an animal will lay on our feet, for example. Yes. What do you do when that happens? What are you doing? Oh, we do the same thing Marco does with his hands. Mm. You're just absorbing the energy and giving us some energy? We don't absorb it, we uh, conduct it. We conduct, okay, you conduct the healing energy? Yes, good. we transform it into healing energy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have anything else to say to him? We love him. Mm -hmm. Good. Harocha, is there anyone else that would like to speak to Marco today? Yes, Soila. Soila. Let me speak with Soila, please. Hello. Hello. Soila, why are you so afraid of most things? <laughs> it's a lesson. Mm -hmm. What lesson are you learning? Not to be afraid of stuff. Not to be afraid. What has happened to you that made you so afraid? I was abused. You were abused. In a different lifetime. In a different lifetime? Yes. So are you still... Learning from that lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. When do you think this lesson will be over? Now that you have such a loving human to help you. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. This is going to be it. You don't need to be afraid anymore? No. Because, you... uh, because uh, I'm not a friend anymore. Mm -hmm. There's also an attachment. There is? Yes. What attachment is there? In your stomach. In your stomach? Yes. All right. Can we release that attachment today? Go yes. inside and let's connect with that attachment and see what this attachment is. Would you allow me to speak with it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm going to put my hand over your stomach and bring it up, 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 up. Good evening. Who am I speaking with this evening? Dolphix. What is it? Dolphix. Dolphix? Dolphix, what are you? I'm a whale. You're a whale. And what are you doing stuck in Soyla's stomach? I got trapped there. Mm hmm When was this? A long time ago. Mm hmm Why is it that you haven't been able to leave? I don't know where to go. Mm. Well, Dolphix, it's very easy for you to transform out of that body. Would you like me to help you? Yes, please. Mm hmm Dolphix... Everything was created by the Creator, and inside of you there is a spark of light. Find that spark of light. Uh -huh. All right, now make that light as big as you are. And tell me how that feels. Good. Mm -hmm. And now that spark of light is allowing you to transform into anything. And it's allowing you to go back to Source, or back to your home planet. Where would you like to go now, Dolphix? Source. All right, so go ahead and go up through the top of her head 
and release yourself from Soila and go follow that light and tell me when you get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back with Source? So many animals. Mm -hmm. What do you see there? Mm. So many animals. Mm. Um, um, especially sea animals. That's where I belong. Very good. So, dolphins, may the light of the universe accompany you and enjoy your new transformation into light. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. Let me speak with Soyla. How do you feel now? Better. Very good. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Marco today? <laughs> he called me his baby. His baby. Mm -hmm. I love him. Mm -hmm. We all do. Very good. So, Arla, who else is there that would like to speak with him? Nick. Mm -hmm. So, Nacha, let me speak with you, please. Hello. Hello, Nacha. How are you feeling today? Good. What would you like to tell Marco? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I was being abused in my other house. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided to live and live on the street. But I found them. You found the right human, didn't you? I recognize his energy. Mm -hmm. Have you known him from different lifetimes? No. No. But you knew that energy would help? Yes. Very good. Is there anything else you would like to tell him? <laughs> well, we, we're waiting for him to come back. Very good. Thank you so much. Is there anything that Marco would like to ask any of his dogs? I just wanted to make sure that we're okay. Mm -hmm. That was, just, mm -hmm. I love them so much that mm -hmm. they, I just wanted to make sure that we're all right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's take a deep breath in and let me speak with your higher self. Has that helped all of them to be yes. able to communicate? Very good. You helped Marco too. Very good. Now Marco had a very, very strong bond with his grandmother Maria. Can you tell me how Maria is now? She's doing great. Mm -hmm. Can he communicate with her? Yes. To ease his pain. Let me speak now. Take a deep breath in and let me speak with Maria, please. Maria, good evening. Hola. ¿Qué quieres decirle a tu nieto? Que estoy bien. Mm -hmm. Que yo los cuido. Mm -hmm. A todos mis hijos. Que los veo. Que es. Que los veo que sufren por. Porque partí, pero deben entender que estoy en un lugar mejor. Uh -huh. Tu nieto sufre mucho en pensar de ti. ¿Qué quieres decirle? ¿Necesitas sufrir tanto? No. No, porque yo lo cuido. Uh -huh. ¿Qué quisiera darle a tu nieto para un recuerdo cuando él lo vea que piense de ti? A veces le mandan plumas o piedrecitas o hojitas. Uh -huh. ¿Qué quieres mandarle a tu nieto para luz. que cuando lo vea se recuerde de ti? Luz. La luz. Muy bien. Cuando él vea el rayo de luz, ¿estarás ahí? Uh -huh. mm, muy bien. ¿Qué más quisiera decirle? que no tuvimos tiempo para despedirnos uh -huh. pero que yo siempre lo escucho uh -huh. y escucho a todos los que 
los que me necesitan. Uh -huh. Escucho a todos mis hijos. Sí. ¿Y lo, los puedes ayudar? Sí, sí. los ayudo. Uh -huh. Mucho, los estoy ayudando. Muy bien. Muy bien. Vamos a permitir a Marco que hable contigo. Respira profundo y habla con tu abuelita. Yo sé que me van a dar luz. Porque la siento. Yo sufría mucho porque yo sentía lo que ella sentía. Sentía los abusos. Sentía la amargura que ella sentía. Y eso me hacía sufrir. Pero ya los he aprendido a canalizar. Sé que ella está conmigo porque la siento. Dilo. Dígase lo que está escuchando. Lo sé. Muy bien. María, ¿qué quieres responderle? Que no tiene de nada que preocuparse porque lo lo ayudo en todo lo que puedo uh -huh. ayudo a toda mi familia uh -huh. tengo esa misión lo que yo he aprendido es que cuando uno muere se vuelve el todo no tienes cuerpo puedes estar en todos lugares al mismo tiempo de muchas maneras y es exactamente lo que estoy haciendo uh -huh. estoy ayudando a todos mi familia es mi deber muy bien muchísimas gracias María con esas palabras tan lindas gracias gracias a uh -huh. ti Alba que uh -huh. Que me comunicaste con mis hijos. Uh -huh. Que la luz del universo siempre lo acompañe. Gracias. A ti también. Gracias. Take a deep breath in and let me speak with your higher self. Thank you very much for allowing that today. Is there anything in his body that we need to tear, take care of today? Would you do a scan and see how his chakras are doing, his aura? his organs. He's become, he's been taking care of himself. Mm -hmm. He's doing good. Very good. Is there a message that you would like to give Marco or the world today? Marco? Mm -hmm. You're doing great, buddy. You are doing great. We need you. We need you doing what Alba is doing. Not exactly the same thing, but uh, but uh, your own um, thing. Mm -hmm. You'll know. You'll know when it's time. It's not very far because you can ask Alba how that life goes. You might not like it. <laughs> you enjoy what you're doing, but it's um, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You need to get ready for it. Very good. Do you have anything to tell others? Yes. Don't be afraid. You need to let go. I know you guys say that a lot. You need to let go of uh, karma. You need to let go of fear. And we are helping you do that, uh, but you need to work on your own. You need to put your part too. We cannot do it for you. Even if you allow us to do it for you, we can do only so much. You need to do your part. You know, see, um, you need to start eating healthy. You need to start doing your, your part too. Eating healthy. 
except you don't really need to exercise so much as you think people think they need to live uh, in the gym they don't need that they need to walk they need to do whatever they is joyful for them if they like running run they like playing sports play those sports don't compete competition is a bad energy don't be competing with your um, with your other brothers see uh, when you compete that should be for you to become a better person not for you to become better than the other but uh, do what what you enjoy the most as long as you don't harm other beings like hunting like fishing you need to understand that's creating karma on you because you're hurting uh, other beings that are here to help you but uh, you know exercise eat well and you should be good you shouldn't have any problems because we are working on the spiritual part we are doing the, our part please help us do your part which is the easiest believe me mm -hmm. very good yeah. are we complete today yes yes we are thank you very much Welcome back. Wow. You did wonderful work. These things are burning. <laughs> well, let's switch them with something that will ground you. Let's put some shungite in there they and do. ground you. How do they feel? Oh, way colder. <laughs> this is good. So, what do you think about this session? You got a lot of information. I didn't remember some parts. Mm -hmm. What parts do you remember? I remember my dogs. Your dogs, uh-huh. What about the rest of it? I remember the Mayans. The Mayans? Something about the Mayans? Something about the energy. Mm -hmm. Something about the pyramids. <laughs> That's it? Yes. Wow. You got to learn a, lo a lot of learning to do with these sessions, huh? <laughs> How do you feel? How does your body feel? I feel great. Mm -hmm. I feel light. I feel calm. Like, mm -hmm. very, very calm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Compared to how you came in? <laughs> yes. You feel good? Yes. I, when I came in, I felt uh, a little anxious mm -hmm. because I didn't know what was... I, I knew what was going to be like because I do the meditations, yeah. but... I didn't know how the experience will go. Mm -hmm. And you still don't know no. how it went. No. I remember some parts of it, but uh, I don't know. I remember very, very little. Well, this seemed to have been a session for the world to learn about stuff. You've got quite a mission. <laughs> Healing. Tiny. Healing. Healing. Yes. You oh, figured I, that, huh? Yes. I mean, I've... I felt it. Yeah. We've kn we knew each other in Mayan times. Hmm. As soon as your higher self started talking, it was like, oh, I was there with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very strange, that higher self, because yeah. Yeah. I didn't know, um, I don't know when he came in. Right at the beginning. Really? You were knocked out. In fact, you were put to sleep. Really? Yeah. During my induction, you were knocked out and you were taken out of there. And then your higher safe self came right in. I remember, I remember moving my mouth. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. Really? I remember me uh, just talking. I could, I could see myself talking, yeah. but I wasn't in control of it. Mm -hmm. I was just talking, and uh, your mouth was moving, but you don't. Yes, you weren't I, hearing the words. I, I was. This is strange. I was there, but I was not there. I was just there as an spectator, as an observer. Were you, were you listening, or were you hearing, or I was. See, does a thing. I was listening sometimes. I started listening when about the Mayans. I didn't mm -hmm. remember the whole thing. Yeah. I started listening, but then it was like. Where'd uh, you go? 
I kind of like step aside. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then uh, I think, uh, you know, whoever was talking, keep on talking and talking. Oh. And I was just, How I wasn't long? really listening. How long do you feel that we were oh, wow. on this? How I have no feel? idea. Just guess. Mm, I don't know. An hour comes to mind. Two hours. Two hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. What was I saying for two hours? Do you remember your grandmother? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were there for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't... See, I can talk about my grandmother now. Yeah. Before, I couldn't speak about her. You're good. Yes. So that's been healed. Yes. I can feel it. Yes. Somewhere around here. Yes. I felt when she... See, I know when she was talking because I felt the, the energy coming in. Mm -hmm. and it was around here. This is beautiful. You did a great job. So uh, this was a really amazing session. <laughs> I felt like, oh my God, we talked about so many things. What's the, what's the thing that you remember from the session? Something about the I didn't remember. There was parts. I was talking about energy and yeah. I was supposed to be doing Did you something. feel any energy? Yes. In your body? Oh, yes. At the, the beginning. <laughs> I was shaking. I felt yeah. shaking. Well, I was picking up some of your I, I didn't understand what that was. <laughs> I was kind of doing like the stove, picking up energy. <laughs> <laughs> I figured, hey, why not, right? <laughs> so yes, I we talked about I so that. many different things. Really? Um, I don't remember most of it. We talked about animals. We talked about what death really is. Mm. We talked about this amazing energy wave that's coming. Mm. We talked a lot about that energy wave and how people had to prepare for it. And um, I remember that book. Yeah. The canon is, it was a green book. Soul Speak. Mm -hmm. Soul Speak, is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I remember it was a... It was a yeah. I, all I saw, it was a picture of a green book. Yeah. It had the soul working yeah. in it. That's what I So remember. you saw that. We talked about the new earth about there's different earths. Some people are going to go to one earth, another. We talked about the hurricanes um, and why there's so much go going on over here. We talked about all these volunteers that have come into earth at this time hmm. to help. Was uh, I one of those? Yeah, you have a really important mission here. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have a really important mission. We we were told turn off the TVs, stop, um, stop watching all of this stuff on TV because it's this energy that is really not good. That's probably why I don't get you don't along watch TV with my uh, very little. Yeah, with 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 other people who who watch TV. Um, you have a lot of different archangels that are working with you. Uh, Raphael, Michael, um, forget the other one. Well, we'll see it. Um, we talked about the blue avians. I remember those guys, how they look. You saw them? Yes. So yes. how did they look? They, it was a strange figure. They have uh, their, their feet, they were standing in front of uh, like a podium, you want to call really? it? Really? In front yes. of a podium? It was one of them. Uh -huh. And there was a lot of, uh, I don't know what to say, other like, they, it, it wasn't people, it wasn't humans. There were other beings? Like forms on the bottom, but this guy look. <laughs> yes. So, so was, were the avian, this avian addressing other people? Yes, yes, yes. That's what you saw when you were on I, this? I don't remember what he said or what, what, what was going on. You were just... But I, I saw him speaking. Wow. He looked, um, his hands were different. His hands were like, it was very strange. There was feathers coming yeah. on this side and they were like red and blue, but they would change colors. Really? Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. And uh, his chest was kind of like a like a bird mm -hmm. but at the same time it was like a human form mm -hmm. and his face was uh, kind of like a duck like a duck like a duck but his eyes were like a like a I don't want to say Asian you know uh -huh. and he's he has a uh, feathers for his hair wow <laughs> oh, and it was it was it was interesting it was it was, was he big else. yes he was Tall. Really? I don't know how tall he was. He was so he, he was seemed very, very, very. Did he seem very authoritative? I mean, did... no. He seemed more like a, what I got when I saw, what I felt. It, it was more like a, 
like like a commander, but like, kind of like an, a friend, kind of like asking. Ah, he, he was asking really for like help. A, he was like like demanding or something. No, okay. he was kind of like a friendly nice. commander, if you want to. Wonderful. Um, we also talked to your dogs. We talked about autism. We talked about mm-hmm. uh, there was a trapped entity in one of your dogs. In Soila. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe that's why he was afraid of all of this stuff. Yeah. So um, she's how always been afraid? Really? Since we got a little pot, she's always she will hear a noise and she will run and <laughs> stuff. So, what expectations did you have when you came over here? Because you came a long way. Yes. 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 I didn't really. I remember you say on your videos not to have any expectations. I try to keep it that way, but I was. The only expectations I, I would say is that uh, I wanted I wanted to find some of the answers that hopefully I did. Mm-hmm. You did. And uh, you get all your of your answers. Oh really? Yes. Even that many? Yes, <laughs> that many. Um, we're in Sarasota, Florida, right now. And how far did you travel to see me? From Ontario, California. It That's a, a long way. journey, long was, way. Uh, so he's pretty tired, nice. and you were fasted today because otherwise you'd be <laughs> losing your food that's what they told me that had they had you had something to eat really it would have been it out on the floor honey. that's right so what would you like to tell everybody how to prepare for a session um, I don't know how to prepare I how did you prepare for for this I didn't really prepare were you listening to the I, I remember listening for like about a week mm-hmm. to guided meditation. Yes. And especially yours. Did it help? Yes, yes, yes. It okay, helped. so that's a good way for them to yes, prepare. Yes, because I guess it gets used to your voice yes, talking. Yes, that's right. Yeah, some, it was something in there, but uh, I know it helped because it, make, it made it easier for me yes. to go into whatever, uh, you know, trance. That or trance? What you call uh-huh. it. How does your body feel? It feels great. I mean, when I came here, yes, from the flight. I had a really bad ache on my back. It's so gone. It's gone. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, my uh, some of the even my food used to hurt really bad right here. I don't know wow. why. That thing's wow. gone. It, a lot of the. My, Do you feel the energy still in your hands? Yes. Would you like to send some of that energy to everybody? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll do it. Okay. Good. Good. I do it all the time. Uh, very good. So go ahead and set the intention. Set send some energy. Okay. 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 Very good. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you received some of that energy. I felt it in my gut. And uh, if you want to look me up, go to albawyman.com. And uh, I am booked way, way ahead, but I do travel all around the world. Just sign up for my newsletter. Go to my out-of-town page. Sign up on the bottom. And when I'm going somewhere, I will send you a newsletter and tell you where it is. And as soon as you see a city near you, sign up real fast. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. And uh, catch you next time. Bye. Give me that energy now.